Robin Julie, that's right. The man now charged with intentional child abuse is the boyfriend of the child's mother. The mom tells me Jared Nichols is a good person and didn't mean to hurt four-year-old Princeton. But while the boy has been released from the hospital this afternoon, the gun owner awaits his court hearing tomorrow. A mother rushing to her boyfriend's house after her son is shot Sunday. Kanisha Davis says her four-year-old Princeton will not need surgery, only physical therapy. Meantime, 27-year-old Jared Nichols is charged with intentional child abuse and tempering with evidence. His brother, Dennis, says they were drinking in the backyard near 33rd and Blondo. Jared sitting in this chair with his 9mm handgun in his lap. Princeton playing with toys when the boy grabbed the gun and it went off, sending a bullet through his hand. And I turned around and he's got little Princeton uh, holding his, his wrist, trying to cut off the bleeding, trying to clean him up in the sink and stuff. And the neighbors called 911. Dennis says it was an accident and no one is mad at Jared, not even the boy. In fact, he wanted him to come to the hospital with him. My brother had to tell him he had to go with the police. And he, and he was unable to go with him and told me he loved him. Prosecutors say adults should know better than to have a loaded gun around children. His actions, obviously, afterwards, where he takes this gun and throws it down the sewer, kind of tells you about even his own ideas as to his responsibility here. Police did find the gun and are investigating conflicting stories. Dennis says Jared now promises to keep guns out of the house for everyone's safety. And I checked, Jared Nichols does not have a criminal record with Omaha police. His family tells me he plans to ask the judge to attend parenting classes when he goes to court tomorrow. Back to you. All right, Jim, thanks.